Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. We're going to talk about Bitcoin news today. Does this red dot indicate a bull run to $100,000 Bitcoin? If it does, that will be spectacular because Bitcoin will have dramatically increased in price and prove to a lot of the people that are naysayers that it doesn't matter that Bitcoin has been at $9,000, it can still show a very dramatic increase in price even though it's already priced fairly high. So in today's video, we're going to cover three different, uh, three different articles. The first article is about Bitcoin closes May candle above crucial resistance, and that's big for the bull case. The second article is FX coin strategist, talks about how a weaker yuan, which is the Chinese dollar, could lead to a stronger Bitcoin. And then finally, crypto analysis analyst releases stock to flow model indicator for Bitcoin bull run. Now, when they say uh, that he's released this indicator, it's on his chart that he has a new red dot. And this analyst is saying that that new red dot indicates the beginning of the next bull run. And he's anticipating it to hit $100,000 by 2021. So definitely watch the video all the way to the end because this article is fascinating and spectacular. So should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? That is the question we try to give you information. We're going to give you ideas to help you decide, help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash the like button. It helps us out a huge amount with the YouTube algorithms. So I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. Cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss. Please read the rest of this disclaimer um, and take it seriously. If you're investing in cryptocurrency, in fact, if you're investing in any kind of investment opportunity, be aware of the risks that you're taking with those investments and how they could affect your financial future. So with, it, with Bitcoin in particular, let's look at some of the historical numbers. Historically, if you had taken $1,000 and bought Bitcoin and then held on to it for three years, and at the end of three years you sold that Bitcoin, what, how much money would you get from the sale? So if you bought Bitcoin on January 1, 2017, and sold it on December 31st, 2019, you would have made or received $7,206 for what was initially a $1,000 Bitcoin investment. Now you can read the rest of this chart and take a look at the numbers. Go ahead and pause the video if you like. But here's the most important thing that I've learned from this chart. And that is that if you buy Bitcoin and just hold on to it for three years or longer, uh, historically, you're likely to make money. All right. So right now in the Bitcoin market, it is 6:54 a.m. Central Standard Time. It's May. Uh, I'm sorry, June 1st, 2020. Bitcoin is trading at $9,534. It's down by about a half a percent, and the Bitcoin dominance is at 65.74 percent. So the dominance in the last few days has dropped by a whole percent. And what that means is when Bitcoin's dominance goes down, it means that the rest of the cryptocurrency market has gone up and so the value of all of the other altcoins has gone up enough to reduce Bitcoin's dominance by 1%. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so Bitcoin closes its May candle above crucial resistance and that's big for the Bitcoin bull case. Just an over an hour ago, as of this article's writing, Bitcoin closed the price candle for the month of May. This was a very important technical event for the cryptocurrency, analysts have said. And fortunately for bulls, Bitcoin closed above a crucial re region of resistance that would have otherwise restricted the asset's potential upside. So I'm not sure it really would have restricted it, but it definitely would not have given as positive an outlook or a positive uh, a future indicator if it hadn't closed above it. 
in this level, this level is important because BTC hasn't closed above it in nearly 12 months though and has been rejected at that level on a number of occasions. So we have not had a monthly close above $9,360 in nearly 12 months. Rejections from this level have led to tests of $6,000 and eventually $3,000. And so in this chart, you can see that level and you can see that Bitcoin's price crossed over that level several times. Um, in fact, actually, this is the 2018 candles where Bitcoin hit that all-time high of 20000 and then dropped below it. Um, but in the months of 2019 through 2020, whenever Bitcoin had gotten close to breaking that candle for a, an entire month, it had dropped down. And so in the last 12 months, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty significant that it has finally broke through that candle as a monthly close to the price of Bitcoin at the last day of the month. In quarter three and quarter four of last year, Bitcoin closed under the level on a number of occasions, which was followed by a drop to six thousands. And earlier this year, it failed to breach that level again, contributing to March's drop to 3,700. 9,360 is also in a proximity to the downtrend that formed after the $20,000 Bitcoin price all-time high as reported by this outlet previously. The fact that BTC closed May at $9,450, close but still more than 1% above $9,360 purportedly is incredibly significant for bulls. Blockchain analytics firm Glassnode, oh, so, so this was the news about Bitcoin closing above the $9,360 level just a few, well, just last night. Um, but there are other reasons to be bullish or to expect Bitcoin to go up in price. And one of them is uh, Bitcoin analyst firm Glassnode recently found that 60% of all Bitcoin in circulation has not moved in over a year showing increased investor hodling behavior. The last time this much Bitcoin supply was stuck in place, right before the BTC bull market of 2017, prior to the $2,000 parabolic rally, 2000%, excuse me, 2000% parabolic rally that took Bitcoin from $1,000 to $20,000 within a year. And so you can see right here, this orange part of this chart is the amount of Bitcoin that has not moved in uh, 12 months or more. And you can see that as, as Bitcoin started its parabolic run up here to $20,000, the amount of Bitcoin was sitting there right around 60%. 60% had not moved in the prior 12 months. But then as it started approaching the $20,000, you can see how people started selling off their Bitcoin um, and it dropped all the way down to where only 40% had still been in the wallets without moving. Um, and then just after the $20,000 high, it kind of leveled off. And then as we got into uh, the later months of 2018, you can see that people were starting to accumulate again in anticipation of a future bull run. And so the people that were started buying right here, which is kind of early 2018, probably uh, June-ish or so, um, those people were still expecting to see a parabolic run in the future because they bought and they continued to increase the amount of Bitcoin they were holding, but they did nothing with it. They just let it sit in an address and it's been sitting there for a year or more. And now we're touching on the same 60% level as we're approaching, well, as we had approached the Bitcoin halvening of just a few weeks ago. And so that's definitely a very bullish sign because the people who are doing all of this accumulating have an expectation of Bitcoin's price going up dramatically. So FX coin strategist says a weaker yawn could lead to a stronger Bitcoin. Yusato Matsuda of FX Coin sees the economic sanctions on Chinese traders in the midst of the pandemic as more likely to drive them to Bitcoin. 
So China's strong position in, on legislation like the enactment of the Hong Kong national security law has been conspicuous, but the impact of the coronavirus has caused the domestic economy to fall into a recession. The incentive to move assets abroad is high, and if the legislation leads to economic sanctions from the United States, BTC will likely become even more popular. And so in China, as people's, as the yuan drops in price, uh, the, the Chinese dollar drops in its value, and people are losing money compared to the U.S. dollar, it's giving them a reason to consider getting into Bitcoin. When the yuan goes down, it incentivizes residents in China to move their assets overseas because their values decline when compared to the U.S. dollar. This causes further depreciation of the yuan. However, as the Chinese regulation of capital flight is very strict, some see Bitcoin as the way to go. This is why Bitcoin functions as a flight to safety asset. Um, and one of the things that you want to keep in mind when it comes to the Asian markets, which includes you know, China and Hong Kong and Japan and several others, the Asia markets have a lot to do with driving the price of Bitcoin, and in some cases, quite frankly, a lot more than what, what happens in the United States or over here in the West. Um, when you look at the size of the exchanges, the, the largest United States exchange and the daily volume that runs on it, Coinbase is the largest U.S. exchange, and the volume of, of cryptocurrency that trades on Coinbase is about one-tenth of the volume that trades on Binance, and Binance is a Chinese, Asian, um, overseas exchange. In fact, it wasn't. It was about a year and a few months ago that Binance said that we will now have to uh, no longer allow U.S. traders to trade on Binance, and so they forced anybody who had a U.S. address to no longer be able to trade on Binance, and then Binance opened up a U.S. exchange. But here's the important part. Even without U.S. traders on the Binance exchange, Binance is still about 10 times greater volume than what we see on Coinbase. So um, the Chinese and the Asian market drives the price of Bitcoin and in many cases drives it more than what's happening here in the United States. All right, so in conclusion, crypto analysts releases stock to flow model indicator for Bitcoin bull run. Crypto analysts plan B released a key indicator for its stock to flow prediction model, which could signal a bull run to one hundred thousand dollars by twenty twenty one, and it has just begun. Plan B confirmed on Twitter on May thirty first that the red dot, and that's the red dot that I indicated at the beginning of this video indicates a price increase was now present in its stock-to-flow model, a price prediction model for Bitcoin. Red dot released. The stock-to-flow model treats Bitcoin as a commodity like gold or silver, evaluating the existing supply of the cryptocurrency against the amount mined on an annual or daily basis. <coughs> Though many have predicted, and excuse me for that cough, though many have predicted BTC's bullish behavior in the wake of the May 11th rewards happening, Plan B's model marks when a run would occur with a red dot. Under this model, the chart shows BTC price of 100,000 by the end of 2020. And so let's take a look at the chart. So you can see here, a uh, red dot starting on this older part of the chart and then things go up and it slows down and then it comes finally to another red dot. Now the the white part of the chart is what the stock to flow model is saying as far as pricing and what the value is um, compared to so kind of how how the stock to flow this white line is the stock to flow and what it's telling you is how many years it would take uh, for the new cryptocurrencies that are being mined every day or, or uh, every 10 minutes, how long it would take for those to uh, create enough Bitcoin to replace all of the Bitcoin in existence. All right. And so previously, you know, that those numbers were in the 20s and then in the 30s. 
with the happening that just happened right here on the chart, um, it now takes 58 years for the current incoming supply of Bitcoin to accumulate enough to replace all of the existing Bitcoin. Now, everybody already knows that Bitcoin in, in, in the software that runs Bitcoin, it has been programmed to never create more than 21 million Bitcoin. And so it couldn't possibly run at its current rate for 58 years and create another 21 million. But based on math, that's how long the current new incoming flow of Bitcoin would take to replace the current existing supply of Bitcoin is 58 years. And so with a 58 year stock to flow ratio, that means that Bitcoin is extremely scarce. Now this red dot right here indicates that plan B sees a new bull run happening according to their stock to flow chart. And these dots are the price of Bitcoin. And so this yellow dot right here indicates the $20,000 Bitcoin, which was the previous all time high that happened in December of 2017. And you can see by these other dots, the, the ups and downs that Bitcoin has taken since it hit that all time high. And so this red dot is the indicator that a new bull run has begun. And if this chart proves to be accurate, then over the next coming months and possibly year, year and a half, Bitcoin will uh, come up to this $100,000 price, similar to the way it did through this period of time where it hit that all time high of $20,000. The red dot in, uh, started and from that point forward, it continued to increase as it came to that all time high of $20,000. And so this is a, a great chart, really gives a lot of good information. You can see some of the previous bull runs as it comes to new all time highs and then pulls back from them. And so you can always pause the video or I am going to put a link to this chart so you can go directly to it and uh, evaluate it uh, on your own time and take as much time as with it as you want. So how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions, thoughts, comments? Is there anything that I can help you with? Um, do you have any disagreements? I would love to hear your polite disagreements in the comments below. Um, and, and use the YouTube comments. That way we can kind of try and keep all the comments in one place. And that way you can see what other people are sharing and um, uh, the responses to what people are sharing. So in the meantime, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and hodl. And hey, do me a favor. Have a fantastic day.